Hey everybody, what is up? I'm the Mac Mage, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to quickly clean your Kodi device. So stay tuned. What is up? I'm the Mac Mage, and today everything changes. Today we're going to be talking Kodi news and updates. So stay tuned. Some of my favorite can't live without Google Chrome extension it is a known security issue. I am the Mac Mage. So this is actually a viewer requested video and they wanted to know how to clean Kodi. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a really quick method of how to clean your Kodi. I'm going to show you two in fact. Um, now you should probably clean your Kodi frequently at least once a week because if especially if you use it the more you use it the more you should clean it so like if you're constantly running Kodi maybe 24 7 it's probably best that at least once a week if not twice a week but at least once a week that you clean it out just to make sure that it continues that consistency of working quickly and things loading properly um, and there are a few different ways to do it you can um, I know that fusion has a maintenance tool but it's not as good as two of the ones that I'll be showing you today there are a plethora of maintenance tools that you can find in the Kodi community but I'm gonna show you the ones that I find the easiest so let's get started all links for these um, programs will be in the description so I believe I've talked about this in the past just a bit, but I really do like Wizards for their um, flexibility and all that they bring to Kodi. Because not only will you get your builds and your uh, add-ons, but you can also get maintenance tools on Wizard as well. On Wizards as well. So here are just two examples of Wizards. I have Ares Wizard and TDB Wizard which I use both quite frequently. So I'm going to show you inside of both of their maintenance tools and you guys can decide which maintenance tool is right for you. So let's get started. So I'll start with TDB Wizard. Okay, so here we are inside TDB Wizard and then we're going to scroll down to maintenance tool. So here we are inside of TDB Wizard's maintenance area and a lot of the things that I use for my Kodi I get here because for me it's really comprehensive and I enjoy um, the ease of it all. So here you have your weekly auto clean which mine is set to on and you can also clean on Kodi launch. Um, then you have your indicators for uh, your cache size, your package, and thumbnail size. So whenever they get to a certain height you're going to want to make sure to clean it or you can set up to auto clean at a specific megabyte interval um, so let's say you don't want this to get beyond three megabytes then once it does it will uh, start to auto clean device to auto clean clear cache delete cache logs delete thumbnails purge packages check for broken repositories and broken sources which is a really cool because, you, you know, there's no list that tells you, hey, this source no longer works. However, do be advised that if you do one of these settings and there's just a repo that's down for the time being, like, for example, if um, the alpha goes down or if Evolve goes down for a minute while they're updating or doing maintenance, this will uh, try to get rid of those. Um, you have to okay everything that it gets rid of, of course, but if you're not paying attention and you're just clicking away, you may delete something you didn't want to delete. So you can reload skin, update add-ons and repositories. There's just a bunch of things that you can do in here. Um, so this is why I like their maintenance tools the best, because there's just a lot of functionality here. You can also, from TDB Wizards um, main view, you can also restore and backup, and I really advise you guys to back your Kodi up whenever you have settings and uh, playability that you're really enjoying, because that way, if something should change, you could always revert back to that settings or to those settings. And if you want to know how to back up your Kodi, I do have a video showing you guys how to do that as well. So this is why I enjoy the TDB Wizards maintenance tools because there's tons of them. Now I'll go ahead and show you Ares Wizard as well because it also does have a comprehensive uh, maintenance tool as well. So here we are in Ares Wizard and I'm going to show you their maintenance tools which are in some ways very similar to TDB Wizards. So you have your thumbnail size and you can also choose to delete your thumbnails and same with packages and with your cache as well. In this particular um, cache clean 
you could choose to include or exclude um, certain datas um, from certain add-ons. So then down here you have uh, enable fully automatic maintenance and then just enable automatic maintenance. So um, you can do your settings so that it will just do complete maintenance on your Kodi as well. So whichever you prefer, there is something for you in you know either one of these wizards. In here you can also um, do a backup and there's also tweaks and a bunch of other stuff in here too. So I will leave the links for both of these wizards in the description for you guys to figure out which is best for you. So to the viewer that asked this question, I hope I've answered your question. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, please remember to like and share. If you have any questions, again, please leave them in the comment section. And finally, please consider subscribing to my channel. Your support helps motivate me to do what I do. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.